CFD learning is an important skill for the any engineer in today's world and in this course you are going to learn this simulation of the any problem in a very few quick steps from the very beginning from the very scratch my name is Sijal Ahmed Maimon I am the CFD teacher for this course and uh, I am teaching for the last 15 years in the field of engineering in the field of simulations and also I have the many courses on turbo machinery on the aeronautics aeronautics and the simulations and uh, in this course we start with uh, with a very complicated problem of the whole aircraft simulation as you can see the results are presented here and here we have the pressure contours on the whole aircraft body we start with the very simple geometry of the this model which i took from the somewhere and uh, you can see that we have this uh, looks like a windows for the this uh, aircraft but we remove them so what we did here is that in the second step we just made the domain that is required for the simulation so first we made the domain then after, and before that we repaired the geometry and uh, then we made the half geometry so that we can take the benefit of the symmetry of the problem and uh, this green body here is the body which will be used for refining the mesh in the important region like around the aircraft and also in the vac region and after making this geometry we are going to make the mesh in the ancestral meshing and this will require the very uh, few very quick steps here so you have to define the some sizing some face sizing mostly and the body of influence that is to refine the mesh in the vac region and the inflation that is used for defining the boundary layer so you can see that we have the these prism layers right now there, there are 10 prism layers but you can increase them and then finally we will set up the problem in the fluent we run the simulation and this is a compressible simulation and uh, also we will accelerate the convergence criteria for this problem so instead of running the problem at the current number one we are going to increase the current number gradually that is done automatically by the solver based on the solution steering and also you can define the flow regimes this may be a subsonic transonic supersonic or even this hypersonic so i hope this course will you will teach you very quick cfd simulations in a very less time maybe two hours are enough to get the simulation done and get the good grip on the CFD analysis.